All right, welcome back to Good Choices. Uh, first one I'll make is test one, two, one, two. There we go. Um, actually, check, check, test, test. Looks like it's a little lower than it usually is. Hopefully, it's fine. I can kind of move it. But uh, okay, that looks better. So, this is going to be to close out uh, lesson one of uh, 103.5. So, to close it out, all I need to do is um, three more exploration exercises, so let's get right started. Although initially static, the output of PS can be turned dynamic by combining PS and watch. We will monitor, monitor the Apache HTTPD web server for new connections. Before doing the tasks described below, it is recommended that you read the description of the max connections per child directive in Apache MPM common directives. Okay, so, uh, and then we got to read it for, um, for this is a directive. Yep, so it's the max connections per child directive. So description, limit on the maximum number of connections that an individual child server will handle during during its life uh, so the default is zero which i assume means that there's no limit so this directive sets the limit on the number of connections um, that an individual child server process will handle after um, that um, limit is reached the child processes will die. If it's set to zero, which is the default, then the process will never expire, whatever that means. Um, so, and then setting it to a non-zero value limits the amount of memory that a process can consume by accidental memory leakage. This makes no sense to me, so I will ask the AI, um, and I will say exactly that, this makes no sense to me. Uh, uh, so the oh maybe maybe it's default so yeah so so the so this directive plays a role in managing the behavior of the server processes it allows you to limit to specify a limit on the number of connections that an individual child server process will handle during its lifetime once a child process has handled the specified number of connections it will be terminated and a new process will take its place so there's the syntax the default value is set to zero, which means that default child processes will not expire. So, I'll say that. Is there any way to say this in clearer language? Any way to say this in clearer language? I can't tell if this means if the number afterwards refers to the number of connections to the maximum number maximum number of connections per child or if the number is the expiration time of the child processes. Okay, so this, okay, it should be clear. So the, this directive is about controlling how long a specific worker process, <laughs> what the hell? This is very confusing. See, if, what I would think it is, is the max connections per child directive is a setting that you can have to specify the max connections per child. So, like, a, a similar thing would be, like, SSH connections. You can say you don't want there to be more than five SSH connections to a symbol to a system at any time. So I would think that would be what's going on here is now the thing is they're talking about connections. But you know, this directive is about controlling how long a specific worker process of an Apache web server stays 
active. So is that a connection? I don't know. It lets you set a limit on the number of connections that a single worker process can handle um, before it's replaced by a new one. If you set this number to a value like 100, for instance, the worker will, process will handle up to 100 connections. Then it will be replaced with a fresh process. The number you provide after after max uh, connections per child directive refers to the maximum number of connections that a worker process will manage before being replaced. It's not about expiration time. If you want the worker process to last indefinitely, you can set this process to zero. Um, this is useful because it prevents it will prevent memory leaks and keeps the server running efficient. Uh, efficiently so you're not dealing with the time limit but rather so how is it the number of oh so okay so it's the number of connections so how is it so I, I'm gonna ask you this how is it the number of connections what is a connection um, I thought this was about controlling I thought this was about is that the same as a connection I apologize for any confusion let's clarify this further thank you Stephen in the context Hawking. of a web server like Apache a connection refers to a communication link between a client like a web browser and the server itself. When a user accesses a website, their browser establishes a connection to the web server to request and receive web pages or resources. Okay. The max connections per child directive is indeed about controlling how long a specific worker process of the Apache web server stays active. However, this control is based on the number of connections that the worker process handles, not a specific time limit. To put it simply, each worker process can handle a certain number of connections. Once it has handled that specified number of connections, the worker process will be replaced with a new one. This helps ensure that the server doesn't use up too much memory or other resources due to any potential issues or leaks that could occur during its operation. Okay, that makes sense. So, in essence, the connection here refers to the interactions between clients, like sense. web browsers, and the server. The worker process manages these connections, and the max connections per child directive lets you set how many connections each worker sense. process can handle before it's replaced. This is so separate from controlling how long a worker process stays active in terms of time. Okay, so that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I want to see if I can speed that voice up. It's just taking too long for it to read it. Um, every millisecond counts, so... Uh, oh, this is this is the voice control. What is what is this called? This is called uh, ChatGPT box. So okay, so we can change the, the language. Uh, we can change. Um, I think I looked at this before and it didn't. Um, <sighs> okay, conversation page. Uh, maybe we can change it here. Settings down here. No, these are the same settings from before. Um, maybe advanced. Uh, temperature? What? Oh, this is for the. This is for the API. Um, I want the voice settings. No, I think I think I don't got it. I just don't got it. Um Yeah, I just can't toggle the I can't do it the same way I could before. So, unfortunately, um that's that's the best I can do. Um so, yeah, I think I, I think I get it um enough to move on. So, now that we've got uh that figured out, we we read all about it. We're going to add the max connections per child directive with a value of 1 in the configuration file of Apache 2 in Debian 
and derivatives that is found in slash Etsy slash Apache 2 slash Apache 2.conf in the sent OS family. I'm going to be using Ubuntu. Uh, it's in a different uh, config file. Do not forget to, to restart Apache 2 for the changes to take effect. So I should be able to do this without looking at the answer right away, hopefully. Um, I believe I set up Apache 2 in my uh, lab here. Oh no, is it doing the thing? Oh no, it's not doing the thing, okay. Yeah, before there was an issue where like it wouldn't boot up the devices, but it's not doing that now. It was like a free space issue, but I, I think what it, what was happening is, um, first of all, I had only allocated about a fourth of my drive to the GNS, and you know this this is my GNS server, so like I changed that to allocate all of the drive of the GNS of the uh, server to it, um, and then um, the other issue was I think I was having devices uh fill up uh logs with with pings fill up log files with pings and it was just maxing out all the space that i had allocated all right Okay, perfect. So this is up now, so I can start up the terminal. All right, and now I can um, try to run. Uh, I can't do jobs because we saw it there. I can do an htop, or I can do a ps uh, aux like that, pipe grep Apache 2. That I don't have to deal with, Ugh, you know, the annoying interface sometimes interfaces can get annoying so yep we got apache 2 running it looks like we have a different i remember the process id being like 40 4780 or something like that but now it is not that i will switch to a standing position uh, okay All right, so what's next? Um, so now we need to modify the configuration file. And we're gonna change the max connections per child directive from the default value of zero to a value of one. Uh, I don't see. Oh, here we go. All right, yeah, I just needed to see where that uh, file was. But, you know, we can do this. Um, we can do which Apache 2. Um, so, and, and then, you know, we don't, we don't need this. We know that the configuration files um, are going to be here. Uh, oh, it's not a directory. Uh, oh, right, right. Uh, wait. No, it's not a directory. But wait. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. That's that's not. Um. So we can get we can get this. Um. So we like can do which. Apache two dot conf does that work or like um. Locate. Apache two dot conf. Find. Conf. I guess it would usually be in the Etsy, so we could do find Etsy patchy two dot conf. Um, but you know, then we don't know if it's 
we don't know what it's called so uh whatever don't need to worry about that none of those uh methods work um i thought there was like a witch dash a what was what does that do uh yeah so there's a dash a so which help oh uh let's try with dash a all right so all we get is the path to the executable we don't see the path to where the files would be stored any for that uh are called in by the executable so uh we just it was just given that's not part of this question so there we go um oops uh right we don't want it to be a directory we want it we want to edit the file so now we can use vi and we can search with a forward slash and we can search for max connections oops uh oh and we're getting no we're getting no hits on that that's weird I guess it doesn't I guess my my version 2 is not their version 2 but their version 2 is okay I guess D this seems kind of counterintuitive to me depending on what their version 2 is uh okay so i guess i could add it new right oh i mean it says to do that anyway it's just to add it so let's do that i was looking for i thought it would be something that you uncomment that already existed and you just uncomment it but that's not always the case sometimes uh you have to add things new it's a read-only file so we'll exit out which uh requires a computer science degree or equivalent knowledge um, and then uh, we'll go back in using sudo uh. all right well I guess I can just arrow oh no that's I literally cannot just arrow over I don't know what's going on uh, it's frozen um all right, well, maybe I'll just open a new terminal. There we go. All right, yeah, that looks good. And then I'll do uh, vi patchy2 patchy. Oops, 2.conf, there we go. And then a sudo password. There we go. Now I can do it. I think I do, if I do a shift end or just an end, no, that won't do it. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna do the letter I for insert, and then add this new line, max connections per child, and then a value of one. Okay, and now we need to restart. So sudo system ctl, Restart Apache 2. Okay, now we need to type in a command that uses watch ps and grep uh, for Apache 2 connections. So we can do, uh, okay, so what we can do is we can take the um, output of psaux, um, then we can uh, pipe that output over to the grep utility and feed it to that as input. Um, so uh, we're going to uh, grep uh, f that input for uh, Apache. And then, uh, then that, whatever's a result of that, we're going to pipe as input to uh, watch. Uh, nope. That's not how that works. Um, 
Oh, maybe it works like this. Oh, you know what? This I think this is what we could do. We could uh, put this whole thing in back ticks. There we go. Perfect. Um, yeah. So now, now the output of uh, that command. Uh, I think that's how it works, right? Uh, nope. That's not how it works. So. Hmm, that's interesting. Why can't I just do, why can't I just do it like this? Because the root's not found when I do that. It just doesn't work when I do it that way. All right. Um, hmm. Is it not this? And then feed it into watch. Uh, All right, I'm a little bit confused here. So, uh, learning is happening. Yay. Okay, so um, PS AUX. There you go. PS AUX pipe grep Apache 2. There we go. Um, but I guess I. So, I guess I can. Can't I do. Like that. Oh, you you have to feed it a command. So you can't you can't just feed it. So like this this like this has to be fed to watch somehow. As like all one command. Okay, so I think maybe that's the answer. Mm, not quite. It looks better. It looks better, that's for sure. Ah, that's that's um that's interesting. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe if I use single quotes, then it's not a special character. Uh, no. Uh. Hmm. Oh, maybe this is it. Pass command to exec instead of sh dash g. Let's try that. Uh, nope. Nope. So you have to feed watch a command. Um, you can't feed watch standard input. You can't feed it standard output or input or output you have to feed it a valid command uh, okay uh, 
Attach you to connections. Uh, I, all right. Well, I'm ready to look at the answer. I was very... Oh, that's what I did. It didn't work. <laughs> I hate it when, like, I come to the right answer, but, like, it, it's wrong because it's not working. Just use HTOP, please. I beg you. Anyone watching this right now, please, I beg you. Use HTOP. Just, just, just use HTOP. If HTOP is not downloaded, download it right now. And download lt or uh, tldr as well and any command use uh tlo is that why because i misspelled it no yeah it's just showing one of them it's not showing all three or all four like if if we don't pipe it into watch or if we don't if we don't send it to watch we get different output like it's it's only showing us this last one uh 13136 yeah so like that is that is that really the answer like are we happy with that i, I don't know if i am but i guess on the l pick they will be all right so now open a web browser or use a command line browser such as links to establish a connection to the web server through its ip address what do you observe in the output of watch okay so we'll start uh watch again then we'll open a, a web server. Or sorry, we'll open a web browser and then we'll connect to my web server. So it'll be localhost. And I think it's probably on 8080. No, here it is. Okay, yeah, it's on 80. So here's here's the uh, it works page. Uh, one thing that's like really cool too um, that I will demo here. Oh, and this terminal is just busted. Okay, no, it's not. So IPA. So this is at dot four. So yeah, like I, I can access as long as I can access it. Like if I were to go on my home router and uh, do port forwarding, then you watching this right now could could access it. Uh, assuming I left that open, but I, I will absolutely not be doing that. So, so that's what's cool, you know. It's it's a web server. It's uh, you can use it. <laughs> okay, so um, it's interactive. All right. Okay, so um, uh, okay, what do we observe in the output of watch? Uh, let's take a look. So uh, right now I don't observe anything because it's it's not up. Um, so let's get it back up again. Uh, still don't observe anything. Um, yeah, I really don't observe anything. Um, maybe I'll try getting it up again in here. Refreshing it a few times. Still don't observe. Oh, this is the wrong terminal. Uh, still don't really observe anything. We'll try refreshing it in here a few times. Okay, so so we do see a, a child process uh, jumps up quick and then it and then it goes away. Okay, perfect. All right, so, um, yep, one of the child processes owned by www slash data disappears. So we can see it up here. Uh, oops, wrong, wrong thing. So we can see it up here and then disappear. All right, oh, not even the final one, second to final one, oh my god. Okay, so as you have learned by default, top sorts the tasks by percentage of CPU usage in descending order, the higher values on top. This behavior can be modified with the interactive keys M, capital M for memory usage, uh, capital N for process unique identifier, 
capital T for running time and percentage, uh, and capital P for percentage of CPU time. However, you can also sort the task list to your liking by launching top with the dash O switch. For more information, check top's man page. Now perform the following tasks. Uh, launch top so that the tasks are sorted by memory usage. And we don't need this anymore, so I'll get rid of it. All right, and now I will launch uh, top. And I will sort it by memory usage, so I'll pull up help. Um, and uh, we should see uh, toggle. Or maybe sort. Um, oh, here we go. So, so in R, we can do a we can do a sort with R. Let's try that. Okay, so now now we are uh, sor sorting it. Uh, it looks like it's not by memory usage. Let's try a capital M. There we go. The capital M. Wait. Here's a lowercase m. Okay, that, that does this. Is capital M by... How do I do it? Um, oh, is this how? This appears... Okay, so I think I think we did it with the with the capital M and then the capital R, so um, there we go. And then verify you type the right command by highlighting the memory uh, column. So there we go. Let's see what the uh, command, what the correct is. Oh, shoot. Type X. Oh, I, I completely did not um, understand this at all. Wow, okay, I completely got this one totally wrong. So, in order to sort it, you actually, and I don't remember learning about dash O. So let's try uh, too long, didn't read on top. And now we get uh, dynamic real-time information about running processes. We, we see that in the documentation. So uh, let's see what the dash O, so, so here we go, sort processes by field. Let's see what that looks like just in the regular help. Yeah, the regular help is just complete. Uh, complete garbage. So yeah, so we can see that sorted by by the field. So we'll take a look at the field names one more time. So percent mem is the field name. So we can feed that to dash O. There we go. And then uh, we can press X and that will highlight the memory column. Um, I'm not sure if we can highlight other columns as well, but Apparently X highlights the memory column. Um, let's see here. So, and it's a lowercase X, which matters. So here we go with toggle uh, highlights. Um, and then, okay. And then this is the source field. Just use HTOP, please. I beg you, just use HTOP. All right, so number four, PS also has an O switch to specify the columns you want shown. Investigate this option and do the following tasks. Okay, great. Okay, so um, oh, here we go. Let's go too long, didn't read for PS. Uh, see that, see that? Like, this is just, this is this is the thing with Linux too that I'm just gonna say for anyone watching this. Okay, you want your LPIC, great, that's wonderful. Get your LPIC, but you know, if you fail the LPIC once, twice, three times, just, just forget about your LPIC and just start using Linux. Like Linux isn't about answering, you know, multiple choice questions. Linux is about this thing sucks. So I'm either going to make it better myself or I'm going to reach out to a community of people 
and have it done in a better way like relying on these old you know ps and like all this stuff that's not linux like yeah like those are built-in bash utilities but like you're not learning how to use linux when you just come up with these ways of doing things that sure you could have done in 1992 and no one <laughs> and uh and they would have been they would have worked and been useful at the time but like you know it's not 1992 right now just get what you need done like this is the perfect example ltdr probably won't be or tldr probably won't be on the lpig i probably can't use it on the lpig um but guess what it, any other context besides a test I'm using TLDR. Why? Because it tells me what it does. Like, what is this? Doesn't do anything. This this just this is garbage. And I guess we could do PS one that like they suggest and see if that's better. No, we can't. So it's like, you know, this 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 is Linux. This is an exam offered by an organization that makes money by selling you exams does that mean that it's stupid to do that no because sometimes you do want the credibility you do want the um you know the, the certification you want to say i know this and you can tell because i have the certification and really make that conversation easy like that's worth paying some money for but don't for a second think oh i have an lpic 3 and i know pay a psaux path gripe i convert that to an input using the back ticks and now it's like that doesn't make you good like you know that it doesn't matter that you do something in a specific way it matters that you get it done and that it works well so like tldr look at look at what we get we 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 see like like it's there you know this this is this is what ultimately matters in the end so it's like if anyone's watching this and they're 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 watching what i'm doing or they they in any way get the impression it's wrong or it's cheating to use something like tldr you're not going to be able to use it uh in the real world um what I say to that is like, okay, fair. There might be some situations where you're on a Linux box and it's not um, connected to the real world. But we have AIs now. Just ask the AI how to use PS. Like, you know, I, I feel like there's never going to be a, a situation where you can't just use the best tool for the job. And uh, if there is, it's going to be very infrequent and not worth kind of developing that mentality that i can't do exactly what i need to do to accomplish this even if that means installing something new uh or like using the ai like that's the mentality i want people on this channel to have is like accomplish your goals accomplish your objectives like projects are important you need to understand what you're doing more than you understand a clever way to do it like just download tldr get the help you need and move on oh say okay so now uh ps has columns as well it's got the pid tty timeline command palm um we can uh 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 so uh, we can use the uh, dash O switch. Um, and this will. Um, oh, okay. That's not what the dash O switch does. Um, does it? Uh, okay, well, let, let's try this. Let's try percent mem like that, just like it was before. Yeah, I don't think PS has all that. I'm surprised. I'm kind of confused here.
Okay, so it says that PS has an O switch. Does it though? Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, so options. Um, this is like a user defined format. Uh, I'm confused. So dash O and then format. Does it? Oh, so it looks like we need an we need a ATX field descriptor. Um, I don't know what a, what an ATX, um, field descriptor is. Okay. This help menu is actually better than I thought. It looks like you can just, it's just like organized into different sections. So like you can get, uh, if we just do help without anything, then we get all the help sections. Uh, so let's look at the S help section. All right, and then L, and then O. All right, and then, so ignore the rant I had earlier. I sh should have had that. Um, uh, I'll turn it on now. It's the E-N-O-K-O, or E-N-O-K-E, Anoki, or O-N-O, K-E, O-N-O, K-O. Was that it? O-N-E-K-O? Yeah, okay, I should have had the mouth, the cat so that it fell asleep while I was going on my rant <laughs> but um okay so let's um ha huh, let me think here uh all oh, right right so so I guess I want to keep going I think we have the answer kind of um already but uh we'll keep going on that so clear 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 appears not to be working. Oh, that's right, because I uh, this is not a background process, so I don't have my terminal back. So let's run it in the background. Okay, and then we'll do um, uh, PS help. Okay, and then S L O T. And uh, oh, the the scroll back. You see that the scroll back buffer is not set enough, so that's going to be a problem. Um, shoot. Uh, uh, maybe headers. SQR process T. You know what? I'm I'm kind of done. So let's. I, I just want to get this video done. So let's terminate the cat. Uh, jobs. Uh, oh. Oh, sorry. Kill. Oops. <coughs> okay. So investigate this option to do the following tasks. Don't know how to do it. Don't know how to do that either. So let's just look at the answer because 
I mean, I tried this. I tried this, but like, I tried it with a, I tried it with an up, uppercase. So like, PSO. I I got that far. I think. Um, percent mem. Well, let's just do it with percent mem with lowercase, cause I came very close to getting that. There it is. If I do my history, um, it looks like uh, yeah, I came very close. I just put it in uppercase instead of lowercase. All right, so we'll just type out the full command and then move on. All right, looks good to me. So uh, next we're going to launch PS so that the only information displayed is that of the user and the name of the programs they're using. And I'm not sure how to know um, the column names, so we're going to ask the AI. How could I find which column names to use if I didn't know them beforehand? Oh, this is terrible. Oh, I guess you could try you can find them with man PS. I didn't try that one yet. Um All right, so the man page is pretty uh, extensive. Forget everything I said about the rant. Um I just didn't have my cat uh chasing the mouse thing enabled, so kind of went off topic there. All right, so yeah, it's it's probably buried somewhere in there in the man page. Um, here's the interactive help. Um, so P S A U X oh P S A U X. So if you do A A U X, then you get the columns. Uh, So P S E U X Y plus. There we go. So now now we get the columns, and we can see unfortunately the columns are in uppercase, even though they had to be fed to it in lowercase. So I don't know know what that's all about. All right, but that's the last uh, question. Um, so now to the summary. In this lesson, you have learned about jobs and job control. Important facts and concepts to bear in mind are jobs are processes that are sent to the background. Apart from a process ID, jobs are also assigned a job ID when created. To control jobs, a job specification, job spec is required. Jobs can be brought to the foreground, sent to the background, suspended and terminated or killed. A job can be detached from the terminal and session in which it was created. Likewise, we have also discussed the concept of processes and process monitoring. The most relevant ideas are processes are running programs. Processes can be monitored. Different utilities allow us to find out the process ID of processes as well as to send them signals to terminate them. Signals can be specified by name, for example, uh, dash sig term, all in uppercases, uh, a number, for example, minus 15, or an option. Uh, for example, uh, minus S for the signal name and then the signal name. Top and PS are very powerful when it comes to monitoring processes. The output of the former is dynamic and keeps updating constantly. On the other hand, PS reveals output statically. Commands used in this lesson. Jobs display active jobs and their status. Sleep. Uh, delay for a specific amount of time, FG, bring job to the foreground, BG, move job to the background, kill, terminate job, no H up, so no hang up, detach job from session or terminal. That's interesting. Um, let me try this. Uh, Uh, 
All right, was it really that? Okay, here it is. So we're gonna try this with now H you up like that. Okay, so ignoring input. And, oh yeah, then this saves it to a file. And then what if I get rid of this close terminal? Okay, so now now it's detached. But uh, well, what I'm curious is. Oh no. Okay, I thought it might be a detached in a way where, like, it'll keep showing up in jobs, but uh, that's not the case. So, we'll do a ps, aux pipe grep, and then it'll be um, the name of this, which I forget, one ko. All right, and it looks like we've actually got it running twice. Oh, uh, we've got, uh, no, we've just got the grep command. So here's the, the process ID, we'll, so we'll do kill, um, 4989. And uh, the cat's sleeping anyway, so uh, now it is gone. All right, so uh, exit is to exit the current shell, um, tail, uh, display most recent lines in a file, watch, Run a command repeatedly, two seconds cycle by default. Uptime, display how long the system has been running. The number of current users and system load average. Free, display memory usage, pgrep, um, which is to look up process ID based on name. Pkill, send signal to process by name. Kill all, kill processes by name. Um, top display Linux processes and PS report a snapshot of the current processes all right so uh, all right shoot uh, I'm I'm through it so um, oh and we're at almost at the hour too so it's good timing all right so that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next one